Oof, that chips. Psycho. <laughs> Hello, my fellow octotrotters, my fellow octoroids, my octosteppers. Uh, this one goes out especially for Skelter. I'm not sure if I can do the Roger Moore accent. My octopussies. It's a fair attempt. Uh, what we're going to look at today is um, using plays free mode which uh, if you don't know where it is can be found by choosing your track and then hitting function plus the uh, edit button here to bring up your pattern settings um, make sure that the record button is off because when it's on obviously it's going to show you a different page um, scroll down to your the track you want here which is going to look at one um, we can see here it says uh, start silent that's, that's set to auto plays free is on and then uh, the trig mode this is important is set to hold uh, and trig quantization is set to 1 16th now uh, you can do all sorts of things with play 3. What that does is it disconnects the tracks from the sequences so that they only play when you hit one of these buttons here, 1 to 8. Um, obviously you can trigger the sounds just like that, but you're not actually going to play any patterns. So, <clears throat> let's just get out of here. Um, what we have here then are um, if I go into recording mode, uh, you can see uh, we have um, on track one we have a couple of tricks uh, and uh, a one shot which was uh, which is kind of left over for something else. We don't actually need that. Um, what you need to do for this to work is what I've done is I've taken this first trick and I've I've kind of backed it right up this way with the micro timing, and the reason for that is that I found triggering um, the uh, plays free tracks um, with 1 16th quantization. I don't know whether my grooves are really really bad which is probably true but it always seems to come in late unless I back the first trigger up. So basically on track one I have uh, kicks, on track two I have a snare, on track three a hi-hat, track four is my bass line which is um, being modulated by an LFO to change the pitch um, because it's only two tricks so uh, the LFO is changing the pitch up and down I've used one of the LFO designers for that so you get a kind of repeatable scale um, track five this is actually uh, the again the plays free but um, what this is doing instead of being set to hold it's set to one two so I can turn it on and off basically it's like a loop so that gives me something to play against. And then on uh, track six, I have like a little pad sound. Um, and that is, again, um, the start point is being modulated to give it a little bit of variety. Um, also, uh, with track five, um, the patterns here this is set up so that the scene is actually shifting the start point so I can use the crossfader to change the loop up a bit. Now, question is why would you want to do all of this? It's a bit of a pain in the ass to set up but it is worth it, it's fun. Um, it's something that you can do to kind of spice up a live set, you know, just do like a little bit of finger drumming style stuff uh, to begin with. Uh, well, not to begin, you can do it in the middle if you wanted to. Um, or you can just use it if you're feeling, you know, um, bored and you want to creatively attack a loop in some other way and maybe just record what you're doing um, into the Octatrack, resample it, and cut it up later. Um, I just liked, I always liked the thing in Ableton where you could trigger clips and trigger very short sequences in those clips. I always found that to be quite beneficial. So, <clears throat> let's just have a listen and see what it sounds like. Um, you'll notice when I hit play obviously nothing happens because I have to trigger the tracks individually. Now I, I am to finger drumming what will I am is to hip hop so this might sound a bit shit.
Okay, um, I hope you found that useful. Um, and uh, yeah, please subscribe if you've enjoyed these tips and uh, check out the next episode where hopefully I'll be working with a turntablist and you get to see what someone who's really groovy sounds like. Okay, take it easy people. Bye-bye.